Hey guys, this is Greg Sane. And um, I told you guys it was almost go time. Well, guess what? It's go time. And um, what you're about to watch now is a webinar that's already in progress. I wasn't able to start from the very beginning. I had some technical stuff. But who you're going to be listening to today is Sid Michael and Brian Anderson. Okay? Sid Michael and Brian Anderson. They are going to explain to you how this business can literally change your life. I know a lot of you guys are already in the pallet business with me, and that's cool. And a lot of you guys are going to start in the pallet business, and that's cool. But understand when I tell you this. This is next level. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. So without any further ado, get ready. Get a pen and paper if you need it, whatever. But get ready. And uh, right now, you can listen to Sid Michael and Brian Anderson. I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'm just going to be listening, so I won't. <laughs> I won't have anything else to say. Okay? I'm going to let you do the talking. All right. Peace. What I'm going to share with you is really, really cool. And listen, it, it doesn't take a lot of time. I'm telling you, I do this like while I'm waiting for my subway at, at sub at subway to get made. I mean, it's literally that easy, but it is a passive revenue stream and that's huge. So without further ado, I want to bring out my big brother and, and uh, a friend that I've uh, known for years and uh, um, who's absolutely helped me put a lot of this together and knows this stuff forwards and backwards has a complete uh, agency and, and uh, team behind them that you'll see why it, it, it benefits us all today, okay? And uh, Brian, are you with us? Hey, Sid, yeah, I'm here. And thanks for, for having both Sid and I. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> Brian, tell them, tell, them a little bit, um, uh, tell them a little bit about yourself real quick, uh, uh, what, what, what kind of business you're in. And, and I worked yeah. with Brian. I was, I was a sales manager. Me and Brian have owned a couple car lots together. Um, I was a sales manager for him for, for several years and, and, and rocked it out down in Peace Street City, Georgia. Um, I currently live in Florida, just so you know. But uh, anyways, go ahead, Brian. Yeah, for sure, Sid. Thank you. So uh, I, like Sid said, I'm from outside of Atlanta. This is me uh, on the bottom pick there or any of the picks. Um, with my family. I, I, I do internet marketing. So I use the internet to make money in different ways. And I've had a up and down. I don't know if you guys can relate. I've been on the brink of disaster and on the edge of glory, I don't know, four or five times. And it's just been what a ride since 1994. I've been doing this since the very beginning. I, uh, started working for somebody and it didn't work out and I ended up going out on my own and I just, I never looked back and I was blessed that it, that it came together. I've got four kids, three daughters and a son that you see, and I'm fairly active locally in my church, in the community. And, uh, I, um, uh, I took what Sid had designed and we systemized it. We made it easier. We made it simpler and we took away some of the the day-to-day -day work, and we built systems to make it easier. So that's a little bit about myself. I don't want to chat about myself, you guys. I, um, I'm going to turn it back over to you, Sid. Yeah, it, and, and just to give you a little bit of a background of who I am, I, I spent, you know, I started the car business October 27th, 1994. First time I sold a car to Stanley R. Davis Jr., I sold him in 1992, uh, red Z, Z, uh, Cavalier Z, uh, Z61 or ZR1 or whatever they called them at the time, Z24. Right. Um, I spent 27 years in the car business. Uh, I eventually got out, but I, I spent roles in, in sales, management, a dealer principal, everything. I spent two years uh, recently up outside of Nashville. I co-hosted a, a, a business radio show called Strictly Business on 93.1 FM, the first radio station to ever play Johnny Cash, in case any of you wanted to know. But um, uh, I, I really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, sales and marketing is my life. and uh, Passive income, as I'm getting older, has became more of my life. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if uh, anybody else has any passive income uh, being delivered right now, but it, it is. It is the secret to not uh, breaking your back every day, right? So, thank you for having me on today. 
Yeah, I love it. And so, Sid, what, what Sid and I want to do is help you continue to reinvent how you make money both online, whether it's your laptop or your cell phone. We're going to show you another way that we've used. We both have multiple streams of income. You probably heard it so many times, and I'm not going to sit here and preach to you, but you can't have just one. And you sure don't want to depend on a job, right? Because they're going to leave you high and dry. I got laid off on my honeymoon. <laughs> laid off on my honeymoon after a promotion. So we've all been there. What we wanna show you though, is how to reinvent exactly how to make money online. And I just turned 50 last weekend. So I don't know how old you guys are. Let us know in the chat box. We'll give out some gift cards throughout the whole presentation. We'll shoot them over to John and we'll make sure we get you guys um, a little Amazon gift cards. Thank you guys for your participation. But, um, I just turned 50, so I don't know how old everybody is on the call, but Sid asked me this all the time. He's like, Brian, what would you do if you could go back 30 years when you were 20? How would you do it? What would you do all over again, right? And this is like our most common question, right? We chat about this stuff all the time, right? And I said, I'm gonna find a simpler, right? Shout out to John, a simpler way. And I started thinking about Buffett, Warren Buffett's quote, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll work till you die. Think about that for a minute. We all know multiple streams of income, right? But when you see this, it just hits home. It hits home. What we'll do today is show you exactly how you can make money in your sleep, not on your feet. Sid? Yeah, um, it, it's 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 so important to have multiple streams of of, of revenue. One, uh, b because like uh, you know, being an entrepreneur can get very lonely at times, and it's it's good to surround yourself with some some people. But two, um, you you want to you know you don't want to you don't want to burn yourself out. Burnout is worse than you know. I, you hear everybody talking online all the time. You got to grind. You got to grind. No, you don't have to grind. That's that's a you know showing up and doing the work is one thing, but you do not have to grind. I promise you, your wife or, or significant other doesn't uh, uh, want you to be grinding all the time, right? They want to keep you in the in the family as long as possible. Don't wear yourself out. And what we're going to show you is something that you don't have to wear yourself out, right? Something that can bring in uh, a, a premium um, offer uh, and position yourself to have the ultimate leverage to make it where it is a lot easier on you and something you can run while you're doing your pallet biz. Something you can do while you have a full-time job and a pallet biz. Something you can do at any time. Like I said, I I literally started mine and would do it while, I mean, like I would just get bored while you're looking on Facebook. How many, how many, put a one in the checkbox if you check your Facebook once a day. Put a one in your checkbox, if you would. All right. I see them flying in. We all check it. Right. So it's somewhere you're at anyways. Right. Like 50 times a day. You and me both, bro. <laughs> like 50 times a day. And uh, um, let's move forward and show you something, something very simple and uh, very easy that I think you're going to really enjoy. Yeah, we're going to dive in and focus on the simplicity. Right. It's all about simplicity. If it's not easy, you won't do it. If you won't do it, it will never work for you. Think about that. It has to be easy. So I started thinking, how can I figure out this whole success, this making money thing online? What am I going to do? I had a new baby. I had all these things going on. I had a lot of stress. I had more bills than I could shake a stick at. It had to be simple, passive. It had to provide massive value because people don't quit when the value is there. Right. And I had to be able to get a premium for what I did. I had to make really good money for the effort, for the quote unquote work, right? And I started thinking about it and I'm like, I know it, man. I need the simplest, shortest path to passive recurring. And as, as I thought about it, as I got a little older, I got smarter and I realized, right? I wanna walk away from everything I'm doing I want to have a passive stream or multiple streams. And, and my number is 75 to 100K. Now, that's not a year. That's a month of profit. Call it mailbox money. Call it whatever you want. I call it passive recurring income. And that's what I 
That's what I do. I do a little more than that already, but I, I want that thing automated so that when I walk away, it just comes in month after month after month after month. So what we're going to do today is give you a roadmap. It's absolutely not the only way. There are so many ways to win, right? Takes a little bit of elbow grease, but anybody can win. However, what we're doing is beautiful in how simple it is and how viable it is for the long term. Okay, cool. Well, let's do it. Cody just said, uh, City said 75 to 100,000 a year would be good here. Cody, give us 20 minutes, okay? And I want to shout out uh, Tom said he just turned 41. Happy belated birthday to you, Tom, uh, this past weekend. So big shout out, man. All right, it's going to take us 20 minutes. We're just going to lay it out there. I want you to fire fire in comments and questions, anything you got. Doesn't matter at all. And we'll we'll net it out for you. And, we're, man, we're going to talk at you and we're going to show you, right? We're going to keep it as real and genuine as we can, both Sid and I together. All right, Sid, so on the call, let's teach them how to make more money, give themselves an immediate raise. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's that's what uh, that's what's got us all sitting here ready to do right now. Right. You, you talk about getting a raise. I'm interested. That's right. And then by building that passive recurring, it has to be more than having the passive recurring. We're going to build an asset. I want you to think about that for a minute. We're going to build an asset. Now, I don't own a lot of houses. I'm not a big landlord with 30 or 40 houses. But I want you to imagine you had 10 rental properties paid off producing cash every month, cash flow. I want you to think like that for a second because we're going to build an asset and I want you to be able to start, what is it, Sid, it's a Wednesday at 2.15 here on the East Coast. I want you to be able to start by five o'clock today. Fair enough? Let's do it. Yeah, you absolutely can. <clears throat> you absolutely, uh, you can. Um, Listen, it takes no special uh, skills or sales experience, anything. You already said that you check in on your Facebook at least once a day. That's really the hardest part about it. Next slide, Brian. Let's let's go ahead and get into showing them. I want to show you some uh, some really uh, you know simple uh, positions to have. All right. It doesn't matter your age level, your experience, where you live in the world. If you've got Facebook, you're qualified. OK, um, go ahead. I love it. Doesn't matter if you know a lot about marketing online. You don't have to know anything about Google. You don't have to know about running paid ads or Google traffic or YouTube. You don't have to know anything about that SEO. You don't have to know how to make products. You don't have to do email marketing, network marketing. Nope, nope, nope. No drop shipping, no funnels. You don't have to pay for coaching. No get rich quick. None of this stuff. Right. We've got the thing dialed in. It's so crazy that what Sid and I are going to share begins to work on its own. And what I mean by that is once you kind of, it's like priming a pump. Once you get it going, it just sort of goes, right? And that's what we're going to show you. We'll show it to you live on the call. And we're going to show you a shortcut that closes the gap. We've all tried and failed at stuff. All of us. I have no doubt. I won't even ask you. We all have. We're going to show you a little shortcut that closes the gap between making it work and failing. You can skip right to the front of the line and immediately achieve success. I mean, I mean almost immediately. So let's get going. Reality check, Sid. Yeah, um, here's the truth. Right now, um, uh, you know, I, I go by three rules in my life, right? I go by value over price equals sell. That's real in my friends. That's real in my significant other. That's real in your in-laws. That's real in your neighbors. That's real with everything. If you can build the value of something over the price, you get a sale, right? If, if you're the value of you hauling off those pallets for a dollar a piece is worth getting them off of somebody's uh, back, it makes sense. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna sign me up, right? Everybody understand the the, the model because th we really talk about this. Building value over price every time will equal a sale. What you really need though, uh, next slide if you would. What you really need to though, and, and I've talked about this in the past, you gotta have the right position and leverage. Does everybody understand how powerful position and leverage in business is? It's your offer, right? And, and, and when you have the right position, 
you have the right offer when you have the right leverage it's the irresistible offer it's what they can't they they can't say no to right and let's let's talk a little bit how you actually uh get to the position and leverage okay um what you want to do is you want to make sure that you create an asset and we talked about how it grows it grows on its own you don't want to have to be out there hedging the you know trimming the hedges and mowing the lawn and and taking all your time if you can actually have an asset that starts growing on its own and bringing in revenue on its own passively can everybody here put a one if you agree with me can see how that would be the secret to taking maybe your your life up a level right that kind of takes you up a whole notch would you agree okay all right <clears throat> imagine this imagine if you could have six to eight assets all bringing in 2500 to 3k each a lot of you talked about making 100 grand or, or you know 100 100k in a year would be good imagine this if you just had five assets four assets you're, you're cracking the six figures if you actually had eight assets you're, you're cracking double six figures right i mean you're 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 in the 200 but I'm talking about something that takes less than 30 minutes a day just to support. Sounds unbelievable See, not, almost, doesn't it? Man, not only less than 30 minutes, it lets you use your brain and less of your back. Man, I laid some sod at my house. I remember eight, nine years ago, back-breaking work, right? We're talking about using your head, working smarter, not harder, right? So it all began, though, with the vending machine and you're going to laugh about this but Sid you want to tell them yeah well I mean you know I was about four years in the car business and I thought man this is for the birds I'm out on this 12-hour day stuff right and so I actually got a call it was probably a cold call and I started I got an established relationship with this guy I was going to get in the payphone business which I thought was brilliant right but I loved the idea of actually just collecting my quarters not having to deal with employees, not having to worry about somebody trying to take my job, not worrying about have to worry about the drama at work, not worrying about the hierarchy or the politics or the blah, 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 blah. The same thing that attracted us all to become entrepreneurs probably in the first place, right? I love the idea of going and collecting my quarters. So when we talk about what would we tell our 20-year-old self, I thought, man, wouldn't it be cool to have a vending machine? But you know, in reality, we all know payphones are pretty much dinosaurs now, right? So that would have been the worst investment that Sid ever, ever had in his life. Instead, what I decided to do is I decided to create a vending machine on Facebook, like a social vending machine, right? And every time you go to it, it you just punch the button and collect your quarters and maybe even grab a pack of donuts while you're there, right? So think about that. A vending machine online you can control from your phone that handles itself. You're not sitting there sitting in front of the vending machine going, come and get it, asking people to come and check out your selection of drinks, right? I'm talking about the premium location vending machine. This thing's in, got hundreds of people that walk by it every day, thousands of people that walk by it every day, and they have a chance to put the quarters in your machine. I love right. it. Now, this vending machine, Sid, is going to pump out leads, guys. I mean, pump them out just like a gumball machine might. Doesn't take a lot of work from you, not even a lot of attention, right? The goal is to have that vending machine. I don't need any little Debbie snack cakes, but I need this thing to pump out money, pump out leads, not just any leads, premium leads. Now, these leads are going to go to someone who wants to pay us pay us really good money and that is the plan this asset that pumps out premium leads and they pay you for them let let us explain a little bit more right what we built is a social vending machine let us tell you a little more about it and then we'll we'll go behind the scenes and i'll show it to you i'll let sid give you a little more intel and then we'll dive in behind the scenes yeah, so just so you know, so when we had our car lots, I, I, I wanted to figure out a way to start getting some leads in, right? Because now I'm I'm paying for the leads as I was the dealer. We were both the dealer, right? This is coming out of Hip National Bank. This is coming out of my pocket. 
So I went out and I built several Facebook groups at the time, Georgia Jeeps for sale, uh, diesels for sale, and we used it to start generating leads. However, it did work effectively then, but we've tightened it up to make it work even more effectively now. Let me explain a little something about the car industry right this second, okay? Um, dealers are freaking out over inventory. How many of you know that this is going on right now, the, the inventory shortage? It's pretty severe, in fact. I mean, I know a Dodge store that's getting only 17 new Dodges over the next 90 days. Uh, GMC, I talked with a dealer rep in, uh, in Georgia, they, they're getting, they only have a six day new car supply. It's a massive shortage, right? And it it's going nuts, right? I mean, there's people right now that have their car leased two years ago with 50,000 miles on it, and they're making two grand selling it back to the dealer. Dealers are reaching out, doing anything to get inventory, but let me show you why, right? You, you know, the way they get used car inventory in the past is they always have went to auctions. And don't get me wrong, Brian, I'll tell you, going to the auction is fun. Like when it's I- a lot of fun. When we first took them to the auction, we were like, yeah, like we had a blast, right? And uh, even accidentally bought the wrong car one time, all kinds of stuff. But anyways, we had a lot of fun at the auctions. But let me tell you the truth about the auctions real quick, right? First off, when you're at the auction, what are you doing? You've got 200 people around you bidding the price which way? Up. And you got people that kind of know what the price of the car is going up you don't even get to test drive the car it's just rolling over the block you can't even hear it you can't see it you can't spend any time with it it's really the worst way possible to ever buy a car but it's not just bad for that reason it's also bad because you can see right here my buddy went to memphis he went to odessa and picked up some cars my gmc friend and look right here on forty-one thousand dollars, he spent over 715 dollars in a fee right that's not even shipping that's just a buyer's fee that you pay the auction to run the cars over these blocks. Notice on the $13,000 vehicle, he paid $435 plus 35 for a third party collection. He paid almost $500 in fees on that, not including the three to 500 shipping that it's gonna take to get it from Memphis to South Georgia, right? So understand that that kind of, you know, you're trying to get a good price on these cars, this inventory so you can resell it at a premium, but yet you're having to pay these fees and that shipping, but it gets even worse. Next slide, Brian. Look right here, and, and I had to, I, yeah, he used uh, the F-bomb, so I had to scrape it out, and I apologize. But he was buying a, uh, a Malibu or a Chevy Malibu. Listen, I'm gonna tell you, teach you something a little bit about the car business real quick, okay? NADA clean trade, that's what a bank will loan on the car. That kind of tells us dealers what the vehicle's worth. And if you have great credit, they'll loan like 120% of whatever NADA clean trade is. And if you have bad credit, they'll loan like 90 to 110%, right? Notice on this vehicle, right, that NADA clean trade is 15 grand. It's bringing 19.5 at the auction. Do you understand that? Does that make sense? So the demand for used cars is so high right now, it's bringing $4,500 more than NADA clean trade is. So realize a bank's not gonna loan you but around, I don't know, 18.5 on it. You're paying 19, plus you have to pay the dealer fees, plus you have to get the cars front, front line ready, cost you a thousand or 2,000 a car. These dealers are owning these cars for 22 grand, for instance, when the bank's only gonna loan 18.5. So what does that cause? That causes a problem, because he's gotta get $4,000 down before anybody can even make a profit. Does that make sense? Is everybody with me on that? Robert, does that make sense? That's a huge problem. So what would be a solution to the dealers right now that they're, that they're hemmed up and in problems with, right? Go to the next slide, Brian. That's, you know, when I, when I ran, when I ran, uh, uh, the, the Toyota store, I averaged between 1300 and two grand every single used car that I brought in just in getting it front, front line ready, okay? So uh, that's a cost you have to spend when you're at a brick and mortar store. Can you see how they're having to overpay for inventory right now? Makes sense? So Sid is explaining the big problem that exists 
all over the world, not even just here in the U.S., they can't get cars. Used car prices are going up. They can't buy them at auction. They can't get enough new car inventory. So look what we're doing with that social vending machine. These just came in, Todd and Demetrius. So this is when, in a Jeep. Do you want to explain them, Sid? Because I want everybody to understand what this is because these are gold. So when I started massaging these groups, right, to make them a little bit cooler, right, you're able to ask three questions. I made it very simple. Are you ready to own a Jeep? Do you already own a Jeep? Yes, no. Are you looking to buy or sell? Buy, sell. And then I also, also asked a third question, which I'm surprised. I, I get about 30%, 40% filling it out. Would you like to use our Jeep Finder service? If so, give us your email, right? So if they give you their email, and let's just say, for instance, they uh, don't own a Jeep and they're looking to buy, and they give you their email for a Jeep Finder service, would you say that's a qualified lead? Give me a one if you think that's a qualified lead to a car dealer. Absolutely. Now, what if they answer it exactly the opposite? Ones are flying in. I'm glad everybody's with us. Um, what if they answer just the opposite? What, like these here, what if they already have a Jeep and they're looking to sell? Now, what do you have? Think about it. Next slide, Brian. What do you have? Right? I'm going to tell you what you have. I'm going to I'm going to make it very clear exactly what you have. Next slide, please. You have something that's priceless. Something that a car dealer has never been offered to them. Nobody has ever created or did anything that's allowed them to buy cars off the street. They're all trying to do it. They're all sending buyback mailers that you know have your, your registration information saying, hey, we want to buy back your car. They, they're all saying, hey, uh, you know, we'll buy cars off the street. They're all putting up billboards right now. They're all doing their traditional 20-year-old marketing, right? But we're talking about, this is on Facebook. This is where really everybody is. Nobody's really reading billboards anymore in case you don't know, right? What you're delivering to them is inventory that's one that an individual is willing to sell. Now, imagine the experience for the car dealer. A person comes to the lot, they don't have 20 dealer friends around them building the, building the price where? Up, they're bidding the price down. They can talk to them, they can drive the car, they can listen to it, they can see what's wrong with it, they can stick it on a rack if they want, right? They, 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 they can test drive it, they can, how much better of a, of a situation is this than being at the auction? It's a lot better. This is a priceless lead to car dealers right now. It's always been a priceless priceless lead, however, more so right now. Again, look at the lead. Exactly the same. You're getting both leads. You're getting people that don't have a Jeep that want to buy. You're also getting the people that have a Jeep that want to sell. You get it? Strong. All right. So what we're going to do is show you for anybody that can use another $2,500 plus a month, go ahead and say me in the chat box. And I'm going to tell you a little story. Seven years ago, is it right? Seven, seven years ago, it was in 2014, Sid and I started doing this stuff for car dealers. We, we got so excited. We bought a used dealership, an independent store. Then we bought another one. We applied some digital marketing. We blew it up. We got out of it, right? We realized we didn't want to be in it, in that business, right? On the ownership side, we sold it, but we had built these assets, these vending machines. And I want to show you exactly what's going on. So really quick, how about, uh, I want to do this real fast. So let me take a quick break. Kim Holloway. Let's get Kim Holloway a gift card, uh, Vanessa. And how about Jamie T Tahita? Is, am I saying it right, Jamie? But I want to get you a gift card no matter how I, whether I mispronounced you or not. And you know what? Cody Quillen. 
man, you're, you're on it today. I, I notice I can see your comments and stuff. I want to get you a gift card as well. Boom. So we'll do that in the background when we move on. But I wanted you guys to know um, we're going to we're going to break it down and we're going to show you how we're getting check after check after check. Right. But rather than just keeping this PowerPoint, we're just going to. We're going to show you. Here's Let's a dealership. A Here's yep. a dealership that pays us, Sid. Right. Do you mind if I. Get out of the PowerPoint, man. We could jump over yeah, into Facebook. Show them the meat and potatoes so they got a good – I want them to be fully skilled, trained, and educated to make a great decision today. All right, let's do it. I'm going to get into some – let me go into my Facebook, y'all. Give me one second, all right? Come on, Facebook. All right, watch this. So I'm in Facebook, and I just opened up a group, right? I opened up a group. This is our Jeeps group that we showed you, one of our vending machines that mints money. Now, I want you to look at this group that's on the screen. I got a few more gift cards. What do you see that looks interesting that gets you kind of thinking, hmm, there's three things. I got three winners that about I'm about to pick. What three things do you see about this group that are going to jump out? Jason Mitchell, winner number one, Vanessa. Jason Mitchell, 18,000 members. Yes, Jason. He narrowly beat out a few other guys. Lots of members. I love it. I love it. Okay. Member requests, number two, Scott Choate, winner number yeah, two. He, he, yeah, Scott, you're in, buddy. You, you, good eye. Good eye, soldier. One last thing. Let me see. You guys are all great. I'm going to go with Tom Walker, who said pending posts. So let me highlight what those what those guys just said. Watch this. So yeah, we got 18,000 members, right? All right. We got 272 people waiting to join. Now, Sid and I aren't really good Facebookers. When we go on there, we might post a picture every now and then on our own. But we got 41 posts that we didn't post from other people in the group. Now, I want you to think about that. Imagine you had a group that generated assets that somebody wanted to pay you for, and you didn't post anything in there, and you didn't run any ads, and it just sort of kind of went, and it got bigger and bigger. As a matter of fact, let me show you bigger. Oh, I didn't mean to skip you, Robert. I just went in order. There yeah, was so many we winners. got you on the slides, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I just picked the first ones because you guys are smart. So watch this. So I said so um, so many members, right? Let me show you. Look what happens. We're growing around eight to ten percent, depending on the month. So we're sitting around eighteen thousand. But what's amazing is the number of active members. Almost thirteen thousand of them are active. What's funny is Sid and I own the group, and Sid, is it fair to say that you and I are not very active? <laughs> If I've spent 15 minutes in the last 90 days, I would probably be lying. Think about that. Think about it. So we have this group. People are posting. Let me show you what they're posting. I don't know, Sid. Is this useful? Anyone know of a CJ5? I guess that's a kind of Jeep. I found one, but it was sold before I could get it. Sarah. Urgent buyer. I'm on it. Look at all the comments. These aren't us, guys. 16 people. 16 comments firing off. I got this one for sale. I got this one, right? Boom, boom, boom. But tons of posts. Any Jeeps for sale? This guy's dreaming around 5K, right? Now, I made a post. I said, now, look at this. This is me. I made a post. I said, welcome to Georgia Jeeps. If you want to buy a new Jeep or sell one, let us know. Say hello. Look at all these people. Look what they're saying. I really want to buy one for my daughter. I'm looking for a 2008. I'm selling my 2013. I'm looking look, for look, this. Look at the organic reach, 1,400 people with no, no paid ads, nothing. No ads at all. We don't spend any money, you guys. They're working for us, and they don't even know it. Gift card, Ron B, Vanessa, Ron B. It's like a chain reaction, gift card Malik. How do you make money creating a platform like this? Kim Holloway, funny you ask. We're about to show you. That's what we did. We figured out how to build assets like this. 
Now let me show you a little more and then we're going to break it all down. We're going to show you everything. So we got these people. They want to get in the group. Look at these people. While we've been on the call, JJ said he doesn't own a Jeep, but he wants to buy. Bruce, he doesn't own a Jeep. Um, Mia, she doesn't own a Jeep. She wants to buy. Look at this one. Crystal Kelson. I want to point this out to you. Crystal, man, not only does she want to buy, she wants one of our team to hit her up. And here's her email. She wants to buy and needs help. Sid, when you ran Toyota Mala Georgia or any other dealership, would you love 50 or 100 of these every day? Man, I, I would be all over it. All right. So I'm showing you that. Now, I told you, I admitted, Sid and I like going out on the boat. We like drinking a few beers. I like some college football. Um, at the end of the day, we are not really good posters. Now, we're in luck. We're in a lot of luck because I'm going to show you something. And I just let a bunch of posts in. One of the team let them in, it looks like, Sid, yesterday. So we got 90, no, it looks like 40 now, people that want to post. Let me show you what they post. This guy, Chris, 38 minutes ago, right about the time John started our call, is selling some wheels. Sid, what do you think? Should I let that go in the group? Those look like torque thrust wheels, but are they for a Jeep? Yeah, Says Wrangler. for a yeah, 2001 ring. It's on a Wrangler right now. Yep. Let him in. I'm going to let him in. All right. Thank you for him. Uh, this is like a chrome grill of some type. Yeah, we'll let that in. Deep grill. Okay. Guys, now notice we're not writing any of this stuff. Oscar here is selling a rust free 01 Jeep. What do you think, Sid? Yeah, let it in. Um, now, this is an example of somebody that's crazy. <laughs> I'm going to de decline it. All right. Yeah. We want to keep, keep the content one? relevant. Right? This guy, Samuel, five hours ago, I see a few people on the call said they've been in the car business. What about this? For you guys that were in the car business, I'm interested in wanting to buy a Jeep that's under 6K. Message me if you have any. And there's a few that, that we have. That's a little cheap, but this guy is wanting to buy. Sid, I say put him in, right? Absolutely. What about Stone this? Cold buyer. That a tire, Sid. Some kind of wheels for a Rubicon. It's for, it's for a Jeep Rubicon, 17 inch factory. Take it. Uh, looking All for right. a solid daily weekend trail Jeep for YJ uh, and CJ. Let it in. Let it in. All right. And a, looking for a two door automatic Jeep for my son. How about that one? 15K he in. wants to spend. Okay. Uh, if no you're beer. looking for a Budweiser beer, well, we got John Tyson here. I don't normally let it in, but man, this I actually was thinking about getting one of these. I'm going to decline it, but this is an example of somebody trying to use our reach to sell or get rid of some stuff he has. We're going to hate. We're going to say no as much as we like beer, right? All right. As much as we like beer, we're going to say no. <laughs> I love it. Jacoby just said, Brian, not posters, but coasters. Uh, gift right. card uh, to Jacoby, Vanessa. I like that. Decline. All right. So Susie's got a. Man, what is this? It's a 79 Jeep of some type. Rebuilt. Sid, I'm down. You want to put it in? Yeah, that's a good one right there. Um, I don't even know what this is. They fit. Leaf uh, springs. Well, I don't know what it is. You don't have to know about cars, the good news. So I'm going to hit yes. Uh, yep. Jeep Cherokee, I'm going to say yes. Hey, it's five grand. Um, yep. A sway bar kit. What do you think? Um, let it in because it has something to do with a Jeep, but it's already sold. Yeah, we'll let but it in. It builds you create authority. that swap meet for them. It, it, that's what that's what makes people so interested. But not just interested, Brian. Show them show them the uh, uh, the engagement real quick. Just let's let's look at that one more time. Because we go we back. Moved. Okay, yep. Go back into the engagement picture. So remember, out of our eighteen thousand, what is it? Said twelve thousand seven hundred active members. They're engaged. They're liking, commenting, and posting. Because yep. the good news is. Sid and I aren't doing too many liking, commenting, and posting. No. And notice there's 12,700 active members in there. Why? Because they can go and look at all the stuff. They can they can do their swap meets. They can share pictures of their car. I don't know about you, but if you, when you have a nice car, you like to you like to show it off a little bit, right? I'm always looking for an excuse. I got a 56 Chevy. I'm always looking for a reason to post it. 
I love it. But look at this, Sid. Now, the, look at these posts. A couple are from me. The first two where I welcomed a lot of people. Look at this one. On May 28th, we had 9,300 people see this post about Jeeps for sale around 5K. 139 people commented. How about this one on May 4th? 8,900 people about this CJ7. 234 comments, none of which were from Sid or Brian. Not even one. None. So we're showing you this asset. We we built it. It's like a garden, right? We had to get rid of the weeds. You saw us weed the garden right there, right? I got rid of some weeds. We, we're letting it grow. We're letting these other people do the work. It's like Tom Sawyer, if you remember from that old book, man, he would get other people to paint the fence for him. And that's what we wanted because we we're going to go out on the boat in a few minutes and get some beers. That is probably, at the end of the day, we want passive to the point that we can step away. Now, one last thing, and then I want to go back to the presentation. So one last thing, if I can show you this. Guys, so many. Look at this. Look at this. Anyone have a stock or almost stock TJ? Uh, that's a Jeep, so I'm going to say yes. We got so many of these. So many of these. And guess what they're doing? They're building our authority. They're creating the content. They're fulfilling the lead generation that we sell and get paid. Now, Sid, Kim Holloway said, how the heck are we getting paid for this? You mind if we go back to the presentation? and We can yeah. come back here in a minute. Let's show them. All right, let's do it. So we're going to show you a lead like the ones you saw. This is a typical lead. Sid, what, what looks good about Jason here? Um, well, uh, he's actually, uh, spilling his guts on exactly what he's looking for at the bottom with the Jeep finder service. I promise you, these people don't walk into car lots being this honest straight up. They don't, we, we've got, we've got one of the, you know, one of the most unrecognized lead generation forms our our, our models that I've ever witnessed in quite a long time. So we're getting these leads. They're coming in nonstop all day long. Now, we're not even there, but they're coming in all of the time. The members are growing like crazy. They're engaged. They're posting. They're doing every single thing that needs to happen. Now, we're not doing any of it, but I'm, I'm grateful that they are. So, Sid, it comes back to that old value over price. Isn't that the answer to Ms. Holloway's question about how we're getting paid? Yeah, it, the value of these leads to a car lot, right, to, to a, my client, which we showed right earlier, right, primary Jeep Wrangler Hummer, it, it, it's, it's priceless to them because not only can they buy inventory, they can sell the inventory from the same group. All right, so we got all this. What we're gonna share is exactly what we're doing, how we're making money, and we're going to show you the ninja positioning we have. And we've got the ultimate sizzle that none of these car dealers can ever, ever miss out on. They won't do it. You know, Sid just explained it. He, he talked about the problem. And a lot of you knew about it. The chip shortage, the lack of inventory, new and used. Look, we all, all of us knew it. You knew it before you got here. Dealers want leads of people in market for a vehicle. Well, they got that new problem, Sid explained. They don't have any inventory. It creates this massive opportunity. You got Jason Weeks here. He wants to buy, right? Great. We all know that's good. We got another one. Wants to buy. Wants to buy. They're just coming in nonstop. Hey, Sid, while I'm going through these, how much is every lead worth on average? Uh I was about to talk about that. I see Michelle uh, spent some time in the, in the internet department at a dealership. On average, in most markets like Georgia, where this is, it's about $25 per digital lead is what you're going to pay. Now, there is a couple areas in the country that they're completely 100%, without a doubt, completely drained of all digital leads. Somebody has to die. It's like becoming a member at the Masters, right? Somebody has to die for you to become a member. And that those two areas are Chicago. A lead brings about $80 a piece. 
and the Northwest, anywhere in Oregon or uh, Seattle, leads are bringing $150 a piece up there. So that's two premium areas in, in the market. Now think about those numbers and they're just coming in. Car dealers wish they could generate as many leads as we do. We generate dozens and dozens every day, all day long. You can see them. I'm going to flip them across the screen. I'm not going to read them all to you. They want to buy. They want to sell. They want to give us their email. Hey, have somebody call me. Help me. Help me. Look at them. Non-stop. We're generating these from our asset that cost us nothing, that we don't do any work on, that we get paid on. And we're going to show you the money part in a second, right? I already showed you a check that Sid got. But all look at these four hours ago, three hours ago, non-stop. Every day we get 50 to 200 new ones every day, every single day. So this asset becomes an unstoppable machine that generates passive revenue, right? You already know they need this, right? You know that. You realize that you don't even need any of us to explain it to you, right? They're just coming in nonstop. So when we get this group and we get these leads, what are we going to do with them? How do we make money, right? How do we make money when Rylan Russell says, and I took this screenshot, uh, looks like two months ago, I got 13,000 cash in hand. What can I do? I need a daily driver. How do we make money with all this? What do we do? We have so, the results we're generating is so ridiculous. We have so many daily leads. We can't keep up. Sid, is there any chance in the world we could keep up with these on our own? Even you and I together. No, no way. It, it overran me, to be honest. Let me show you, and then we'll we'll answer the questions. Watch this. Uh, actually, Sid, do you mind talking about this? Is one of our customers that pays he pays Sid. Um, you got to talk about this guy, John. He's a good dude. Yeah, this is Mr. Reinhardt. He um uh he he owns uh um primary Jeep right in Northeast Atlanta, uh, Atlanta uh in in uh, golly, it's in a uh, Fayette County, right? Uh, Fayetteville or Fayette? What up that way? Dawsonville. Dawsonville is where Dawsonville. it's at. Okay. Yep. yep. yep he um this is the biggest compliment i could ever get when i was talking with him because he's like dude i'm canceling my cars.com well let me tell you something straight up cars.com costs between six and twelve to fifteen thousand a month that's what that's what cars.com costs to the average dealer the fact that he is canceling his cars.com because i'm getting him enough business off my 2500 a month what do, what do i have now I've got position, I got leverage, I got value, I'm getting the price, and I don't have to ever worry about him leaving. This guy will pay me like the water bill. And yes, I could maybe goose it a little, maybe I could ask for a little bit more, but you know what I like? I like to be that price. I wanna be the water bill, not for a one-time client, I want a lifetime client. And when you start building lifetime clients at $2,500 a piece, it's no different than taking a gold bar and building a wall. How high do you want to build your wall today? How many how do you want? Uh, Sid, how, yeah, many how, many they, how many do you want? How many $2,500 bricks a month do you want? Not me, not Sid, not John. How many do you want? Four. I want four of those a month. Ten, Arnell said. I love it, Arnell. Good. Think about it. Eight to ten, Richard said, Sid. Twenty, Anthony Miller, man. Nice. Hardcore. I love it. Years. Right? That's a month. Paul said seven. Steve said six. Aki said ten. D'Angelo, ten. Ten to twenty. Thirty. Thirty. Elisa yeah. Award. I love it. Twenty. You know Garrett. what I love about all these numbers? There's not a one of them that is unattainable. That's a fact. Every single one, every single one of them, guys. This is as good as it gets. Letitia, gift card for Letitia because she said twenty five is my. I lucky. hit twenty five black yesterday. That's a good number. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is what we're doing, and we we had somebody come on board with us, and he's we've known him a while, right? And he's a straight shooter from out in L.A. He was a Vietnam vet, just a great dude. Uh, we really like him. And we, we basically just, we needed him to help vet out that we weren't smoking our own Kool-Aid or marketing, you know, that, that what we were talking about is real. And he said, 
<laughs> you can read all the stuff he said. But what I liked is when he said, in the first 24 hours, I had something like 84 leads come in. I'm in, whatever it costs. I've never seen anything like this. If you can't sell this, and you don't have to sell anything, by the way, if you can't sell it, you got to go work at Taco Bell, right? And this, this guy's a great guy. He goes on to say in the week that we let him in, he saw 500 leads come through in a week. And he said, holy shit. And his name's David, David Perkins. Now, I'm going to be honest. How many of you are thinking this question right now? Give me a one if you're thinking it. Give me a one. And if you don't give me a one, Man, you're my kind of guy or you're lying. <laughs> because, look, you're thinking, how am I going to get them to pay me? This is awesome. I see it. I can touch it. I believe it. But how do I get them to pay me? How? Ron said, Brian, I've been thinking that for the last 15 minutes. I love it. Okay. What if I told you the big secret? It's like the matrix, red pill and blue pill, right? Here's the answer. I, you know you can't sell it. I can't sell worth a darn. I'll be honest. Sid can sell. I'm going to be straight up. He can sell. Listen, here's my secret. Don't sell. Don't sell it at all. More than likely, it ain't going to work for you, right? In case you were thinking that already, I'm going to tell you you're probably right. Do not sell it. It ain't going to work. You're going to hit a brick wall. It's not going to happen. Don't do it. All right. All right. Watch. So the secret we have, how many, how many people has a, uh, an iPhone or an Android, a Samsung of some type, a droid uh, within a foot or two of them? Anybody got a smartphone right next to them? Let's see if anybody happens to have one. I love it. We all do. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. You used to not be that answer, but it is. Yeah, today. now everybody does. Sure. Well, you yeah. guys know when you, you ever buy an app, you download an app and you can use it for free. But then when you want to get to the cool stuff, they make you pay. Have you seen that before? They call it a freemium model. Or you if you want get... to win the game, you got to buy, pay. Yeah, you can't win unless you buy it, right? Yeah. So somebody said, I'm on an iPhone. Yeah, they call it very good, a paywall. Okay. In-app purchases all the time, an upsell. Okay. So we use that freemium model, right? And think of it like an in-app purchase. We give the thing away. Now, I want you to remember, who remembers what Sid said early on the call? What did he say? He said something that was so important. He said, value over price equals what? Sale. Oh, Sid, you are not in the contest. Ah, All right, Sid's sorry. disqualified. He's out. I'm going to go with Aki B for the win. Vanessa, take care of Aki. Um, it is a sale. Sid, now Sid's cheating. He's so excited. He's cheating. Listen, yeah. if we can give it away, anybody can give something of value away. I promise you, anybody can. Now, we're showing them the value. We didn't ask for any money, no credit card, no contract, no nothing. We didn't go meet them. None of that stuff. Let me show you about the potential. Five groups will get you to 150000 a year. Can you get five Facebook groups that are working like the one we showed you? Absolutely. You do them a little bit at a time. You start on the first one, you lease it out. The second one, you lease it out. Now you're getting two checks. The third month, you're going to lease out your third and fourth, right? And we've got a little model on exactly how to do it, right? So watch this. I, I got to be real. We started this, and I'm going to be honest. This isn't going to sound cool on the call, but I'm going to keep. Sid and I said, let's build 100 to 200 of these out, right? This is us sitting around, and we're like, I'm like, Sid, if we can get 200, we can get a couple in every major market, we wouldn't even touch the whole country. And I said, we just give them away to dealers and then flip them from free to paid. We'd build a network to cover the whole country. Right. And then we were like, man, that sounds like a lot of work. And yeah. we we're like, we, we didn't want any work. We we're yeah. like, we're already making pretty good money, to be quite honest. And then we we're like, we didn't want to hire a bunch of employees. We didn't want to go down that path. Now, earlier I asked, how many of you would like to make 
an extra $2,500 a month. And a lot of you raised your hand, right? For sure. Okay, we know we have something big, right? We know we do. The model is so perfect. It's so hands-free. D'Angelo said me. Well, I'm gonna show anybody, if you remotely think you wanna know how to do this and you wanna know how to make $2,500 gold bricks one at a time and stack them up to that 150K, Jacoby, right? Just let me know and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a quick sip. Sid, let's go through this bad thing right now and let's start breaking it down and taking questions. Sound good? Yeah, well, I wanna break down something real quick. First off, there's 21 to 22,000 new car dealerships. Let you, let, to let you know, there's over 250,000 used car lots in the it, it, just in the U.S. Right? This works anywhere that Facebook's available. We got people in Canada. You you can do it anywhere. Okay. Not only that, you don't have to only do it for Jeeps. You can do it for Camaros. You can do it for Mustangs. You can do it for Chargers, Challengers, Porsches, BMWs, cars under 10,000. Right. You can do it for Toyotas, for What about motorcycles, Sid? Motorcycles, R uh, ATVs, campers, RVs, side by sides, it, it, uh, Harley Davidsons. It works across the board. Okay. Not only does it work for all the, uh, d the different uh, models, makes models. Not only do you have over 250 potential clients plus another 21,000 new car stores. It brings a premium, man. $2,500 a piece. And we're going to show you ways to make even more than that. But fairly easy, to be honest. So we built this thing called Social Vending Machine, Sid and I. And all we did is packaged up what's been working for us. We've got over 20 groups producing money right now. Let me explain. We built a 10 module training with only what you need to know. Not a lot of fluff, not a lot of, lot of hot air, right? First module, 20 minutes. We break the whole thing down exactly what you need to know. And we've given you so much of it on the call, right? Second module has three parts. If you don't know anything about the car business, that's okay, I didn't either. Sid, man, he's done it all. He's owned them, he was a general manager, he was a sales guy, he's done every role in the dealership. And he teaches us exactly what we need to know, how they're laid out, how much money they make, how much money they spend on advertising, right? We break it all down. We then go on and teach you the strategy step by step. This secret sauce is how we get the group to explode. It's literally every single thing you need to build a passive income stream today. I don't care if you have three, four hours a week, you, you couldn't spend more than three or four at all. You can do this and generate a passive revenue right now, right? Fourth model, we show you all the shortcuts, the tricks, the tips, the secrets that people don't want to tell you on how to make it explode. We give you all kinds of posts you can use and post. We give you a system, a strategy to find audiences of people that want to join your group. We also teach you, and I'll talk about it in a minute, our forced multiplier system. This is actually better than what we did at first. We didn't discover it right away, truthfully. Um, what happened is, once you put this into place, your group will explode. You'll get all kinds of clients almost instantly. Fifth module is how to scale because nobody wants just one, right? Nobody does. We wanna scale to multiple assets. Once you get the first one cranking out dozens and dozens of leads, you're gonna wanna shift over and work on the other one and the other one over and over again, you're gonna to wanna to double down on a second, a third, a fifth, right? And as you build this empire of assets, you've heard it before, right? You wanna own the asset. Once you own or control the asset, you're gonna monetize it, right? And that's what we focus on. So there is one problem with the whole model, right? It isn't getting people to pay you. That is not hard at all. It isn't doing the work because I already showed you other people do the work. Anybody know what the problem is on the model? Does anybody know what the problem is with what we're doing? There is a problem. I love it. 
getting people to believe? Nope. Aki, Aki got it first. Volume management. Guys, when you're going to have so much coming in, you don't want to have to spend all your time juggling it, right? So we show you how to put this thing on autopilot, right? We show you how to get this thing rolling. It won't stop. It just goes downhill. The asset will become self-sustaining. You saw it. They just, they just post nonstop and generate more and more results, more leads, more people. I don't do anything. Sid doesn't do anything. We don't spend any money. We don't post anything at all. But you got to track it. In module seven, we show you how to track it, how to collect the info. We capture every lead and we funnel it over to the dealership paying us money, right? We do all that. Why do we do that? Because we have to show them the value, value over price, right? Now, Sid, the pricing formula is gold. Everybody on the call knew that premium, that freemium model, that in-app purchase model. So we start for free and we've got these packages designed to maximize the money you make, right? We stack the value, right? We over deliver for the customer. We don't try to take all the profit. We give the dealer a deal that they can't even imagine. They're hooked. Now we're going to generate so many hot leads from the asset. We even have a little trick that we haven't even mentioned on the call. We've got a software called automotive syndication. And what it does is it takes the cars they actually have and it posts them all over the internet. And I'll explain in a minute. So once we do all this, we give you reports and data. And matter of fact, you don't even need them. We send them right over to your dealership. Hands off for you and for me and for Sid. Every single day, the dealer gets a nonstop right? A nonstop fire hose of new leads all the time. They never bother you. They don't steal your time chasing you down on what have you done for me lately? You know what? Because you're hitting them all of the time, right? And in the final modules, we show you whether it makes sense to sell the asset or to lease it. And I won't steal the thunder, but hint, hint, leasing is the way, right? It is the way. And we teach you exactly why. Before I explain any more, before I give you some bonuses that we put together for John, I want to know how many of you are interested. Give us a one if you're pretty fired up, if you like what we're doing, if you think that having a group that works in the background while you do other things would be really, really nice. Just give us a one and I'm going to keep going. And what we'll do, what we'll do is keep on because I'm not done yet. We knew we wanted to over deliver. We knew we needed to make it so simple. So we did. We came up with the monetization machine. Every last secret we know about selling and delivering these leads to dealerships. Step-by-step -step blueprint. You can borrow our experience, our customers, our credibility, anything you need. As a matter of fact, we're going to even go a little further. We're going to show you what we bumped into accidentally. I'd love to tell you we, we thought it up on our own. We didn't. We got lucky. <laughs> uh, our force multiplier system is how you can get results way faster, a fraction of the normal time. So, and we teach you exactly how that works and how it can explode your group. It's critical. We have what we call the million dollar lead capture. Nobody here about... 100 or two of you said, man, I love this. I love it. But I promise you, none of you want to do the drudgery of capturing all these leads and getting them over to the dealer. So we automated it. We've got a team that automates the whole process. We capture them all, every single person, right? Every person in your asset, whether it's a group about Camaros or diesel trucks or convertibles, it doesn't matter. They all become hot marketable leads for the dealer. You're gonna make all the money. You're not gonna have to go meet with the dealer, go talk to them. You're not gonna be on the phone with them all the time at all. There is no cold calling, none of that. We've got it all done automatically for you. As a matter of fact, I told you I wasn't good at selling, so we just decided to give them away. We've got a little thing where Sid and two of our sales team will help you give them away to the dealer for you. Sid, when you give them away, is there any reason that somebody couldn't get a client or two or three or five? 
No, oh, no. I, I'll get on the phone with your dealer and, and you, and uh, I'll do the pitch for you, and I'll close your dealers uh, with the agreement that, that that once we produce 100 leads, they'll pay us $2,500, which will happen pretty much immediately. <laughs> I'm going to give you the link, you guys. And when I do, and you can get the price. I, yeah, I'm not keeping it from you. Let me put it up. So we got it priced at three payments of $397. We didn't want to, we wanted to break it up and split it up. We didn't want anybody to have to come out of pocket too heavy. Three payments of $397. But don't go there yet. Don't buy yet because I'm going to give you one more thing that you're going to freak out about. Watch this. Watch this. So three, uh, Michelle, so three payments of 397. Now, we knew we wanted to really lay it on. We knew we wanted to give you bonuses after bonuses because depending on where you are, what you're doing, you're gonna need different things. Here's one of the things that I like. We got a Facebook community where you can rub elbows. Sid runs it. You can rub elbows with people like myself and Sid, our other members, our leaders, our sales, our instructors, and you can get one-on-one -on -one help, right? You can find out what's working. You can hear about people making more money and closing deals all in the group, inside of Facebook. And not everybody's traveling right now. I'm starting to travel again. I'm excited. But we put together a virtual conference, a little one-dayer, where we've got customers, Sid and I, a couple of our clients, so they own dealerships or they're a GM at a dealership that are sharing what they love about this and how it's working for them. You're going to get a ticket to that for you and a partner. You don't have to pay any other money. There's no, there is no, there's no upsell, none of that kind of stuff. We also built a library of over 250 plus unique posts with graphics and imageries and what to say. If you can copy and paste, you can do it. If you can paste on Facebook or Instagram or you can use Snapchat, then this is so easy because we have it all teed up. If you're more of a checklist kind of guy or gal, I kind of am too. Vanessa and I, Vanessa's been in the background for all of you that got prizes on mm -hmm. the call today. Vanessa sent them to you. That was her. We built a line by line checklist so you know exactly what you have to do. So, so easy how you can hack into this popularity algorithm. Get the group to grow like crazy and start making money. Now, before I give you the last bonus, anybody else, is it starting to get good? Because I'm going to give you one more thing in a minute. If you're in, let me know. Watch this. Watch this. The good news is I'm not done yet, and I have one more thing, right? Corey said, Brian, I'm in. I love this. I've got one more thing. We're going to lay it on. Rebecca Z, we're going to we'll watch this. Jamie said, I'm in, watch this, our mega bonus. Somebody said, what's this gonna cost me? I said, it's three payments of 397. Now we've got an optional monthly fee group. What's cool about this is I'm gonna give it to you at no cost for 90 days. Let me tell you why. Because we will do 100% of the lead management and what we call data mining. So anytime we send a lead over, we use a little software program we have to get more information about the lead for the car dealer. We're gonna help, we're gonna do it for you. Set up the group and optimize the group. We're gonna manage all the members. What does that mean? So you see how I had 250 members? I didn't approve any of them. I let our team approve them with our software because when they approve them, it automatically collects all the information about them. We're gonna capture all the leads. We're gonna mine the leads and we're gonna send it over. And Sid likes to call it the we do the work for you bonus. You are hands-free. You don't have to go talk to the dealership. You don't have to do any of the fulfillment. You don't have to do any of the drudgery, the emailing. Our team will send every single thing to the dealer, right? Every single thing. You set it, you forget it, we'll do the work for you. All you have to do is cash the check. And if that's not enough, I told you about our automotive software. This takes their inventory, posts it all over the internet and generates hundreds and hundreds of calls. 
I don't have time to do this. The good news is our team will do it for you at no cost. We'll get it all over the place at no additional cost. So Sid, what I'd love to do, man, why don't you take over and let's answer some of these. I'll take the first one, Sid, and then I'm going to pass it over. Somebody said, I've tried stuff and I haven't I haven't been able to make it work before. I'll take this and I'm going to hand it to Sid. I call it my no excuses, no obstacles. There's no failing at getting somebody to pay you because we're giving it away, right? There's no technical skills. You do have to know how to make a post on Facebook, but I promise you if you need help with that, I can show you how. You don't have to have any money for ads. You don't have to know how to run ads. There's none of the headaches of like a marketing agency. None of that stuff. No obstacles, no excuses. We got a roadmap. We got a system. The profit margin's about 90%. That's good. You can charge 1,000 to 2,500. Now, I used to charge 1,000 until Sid helped me understand the value and why 1,000 was ridiculous. So now I only charge 2,500 plus. We're going to show everything to you. We're going to break it down. We're going to help you. We're going to, matter of fact, do all the back end work for you. Sid, will you take over and start hitting the questions? Sid, are you there? I think I lost you, Sid. <laughs> I, hey, I was it. muted. I, I was ripping away there. I, I, was just... <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Sid. All right, I'm going to mute and you rip away now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's three payments of three ninety seven. We went ahead and broke it up to make it where it's easily financeable. Uh, it's nothing that's going to be outrageous. Um, and we give you our two forty nine gold mine for free for ninety days. Here, here's here's my thinking behind that. Once 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 you go and and put this in, welcome Lawrence. Once you once you start this and go through it, by the time you pay off the the product, which is three ninety seven, three months. Before you even start the monthly, which you're gonna love, it's changed my life myself. That's why I love having Brian's team behind me now. Um, it, 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 you're gonna be making money. Like you're gonna be bringing in 2,500 bucks on a dealer before you even think about having to pay the monthly on it, right? There's no nothing to worry about. And in that 249, realize dude, we 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 pull all your leads for you. We put them all in a spreadsheet. We deliver them to your dealer. We, we go in and, and, and approve your uh, pending members. We show you, we do certain ways to where we let them in and we trip the algorithm with Facebook that makes your group grow even faster, right? It's killer. It's absolutely killer. And with the freemium model, right, where you say, hey, listen, I, want, I, I got something here. I want you to check it out. And, you know, I think I can really make it jam. Would, would you be interested in this? I got car deals falling to the wayside. And I, I need a dealer that can handle it. They're going to jump all over it. People have been asking, why do not car dealers do this themselves? I'm going to tell you a story. I gave my first group, when we sold the dealerships, I gave my Jeep group, which is the first one I started monetizing again. I gave my Jeep group to a friend of mine that owns a Jeep store. He had it for over a year and a half. And I'm still sitting there letting people in. I'm managing it. I'm kind of like watching them like the big eye in the sky, right? Well, we end up touching base and I go, bro, you should be selling 25 cars a month out of that group. He goes, I know, I know, man. He goes, it just, it just, it, it, I can't get my guys to do it. They're car salesmen. They're not, they're not Facebook experts. Well, you don't have to be a Facebook expert first off, but two, uh, it, it's, it, it's so simple. I said, that's when I was talking with him and I said, dude, listen, you want me to get in there and start jamming on this thing? I, you know, I, I might post your inventory. I might do a couple things and Hey, just to be fair, Give me 2,500 bucks if I, if I deliver you 100 leads. Well, what do you think happened within 20 days? I plugged in automotive syndication. I started banging out the 100 leads plus tenfold, right? The guy is so excited about the leads. One, he's having to hire new salespeople, uh, more salespeople right now. Here's, a, here's the trickiest part. His salespeople asked him to hire more salespeople. I don't know about you. I've been in sales. We don't like more salespeople. When your salespeople ask you to hire more salespeople, that's when you know they got the fire hose of leads coming at them. And I said, dude, careful what you wish for. You asked me to tune it up. Here you go, baby. We're, we're, we're full gas right now. Actually, we're half gas because I hadn't even turned on Craigslist yet. I'm just, I just got it going to Marketplace, right? Now, here's what's beautiful because I know a lot of you are thinking this. 
at some point, can I sell the group to multiple dealers? I can't. I'm going to offer it to him first out of respect. I'm going to say, listen, I can bring in another dealer. You're still getting way over 125 leads. I'm, I'm thinking about bringing in a second dealer. Or if you want, you can actually buy the second half of leads. For, I'm not even going to charge you the full 2500 Just give me 1500 bucks. Remember the thought process here. Can I sit there and jam them for 10, 12, 15,000 a month? Probably. I sold direct mail to dealers for years and, and 35, 40 grand checks every month, right? Here's the problem. When you charge that amount of money, and this is some of the training that I teach you in module three, when you charge that amount of money, you put yourself on, on, on in the crosshairs, right? Remember what we're teaching you here. You've got a pallet business to run, right? You might have a full-time job and the pallet business to run. We wanna build you lifetime clients, not one-time clients, right? You're not gonna get rich going out there beating yourself to death to get one client to pay you one month and then you gotta unplug everything and do everything yourself. Where, where you can take your life to the next level is when you get those gold bricks at $2,500 a piece, some of them are $4,000 bricks, right? And you start building it, right? Here's what else is beautiful. What do you think my Jeep dealer who also uh, focuses on Hummers, Argos, and he's carrying a thing called the Sherp, which you'll see in the new Fast and Furious movie coming out. It's a killer four-wheel drive vehicle, but he, he, he Argos and Hummers. What do you think he came to me and said? He kept waiting for me to upcharge him. Hey, bro, think you can build me a group for my Argos and my, and my uh, Hummers? Absolutely. Do I have to tell him how much it's gonna cost? No, I don't have to tell him. He knows it's $2,500 a group. Oh, cool. You know what shirts are? Yeah, they're sick. I, I was like, dude, that's my demo when I come in town, Mr. Reinhardt. Just keep me a demo ready. Listen, we're, we're, not, we're not the guys that are out here to try and put you in something that's going to make you uncomfortable. We're trying to make your life a little more simple. And honestly, that's what I love about John's pallet deal. That's the simplest business with the most highest demand in the world and nobody realizes how many people are actually needing those pallets i'm here to tell you car dealers need the leads just right now they need seller leads also it, it, they've always needed leads they needed leads when they sold carriages but right now is especially exciting and especially the right place at the right time and when opportunity knocks you got to go in Sid, I love it. I, I'm seeing people uh, like crazy. I want to shout out to Khalid. He was the first one to come on board today. Bert, man, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing so many people. Can you sell it to more than one dealership, Sid? Dave's asking. Um, yeah, yeah, you can. And and uh, and, I, and I shared that. Gary, we'll take care of you. Gary said he's in. Khalid M just came on board. He's in. Dewaisha is asking about business structure. Now, what I use and Sid uses, we use an LLC, Dewaisha. Now, we're not accountants. We're not lawyers, anything like that. That's just what we use personally. That was the advice we got from somebody that was an expert. Uh, Gerson asked a good question. He said, what is the longevity of this business model? Sid, when did we start this? It was what month in 2014 did we start? Yeah, it was, it was way back, uh, 2014, 2015. Um, March, I think it was, you know, it, it works. You, we've always needed leads. I mean, you, you need leads. I mean, we've as a car dealer, you always buy leads. You're just having to buy them either digitally or, or some other way. I don't want to mention the guy's name, but a, a very big automotive marketer that I'm really good friends with. He came to me the other day, pitching me his little thing that he's got. He gives it to him free. They get 10 leads for three grand. <laughs> and he's like, can, can you help me get into some dealers? I'm like, dude, you're going to sound a little soft because I'm over here giving them pay nothing until they get 125 leads for 2,500 bucks. So good luck with your 10 lead model, bro. Sid, I love it because we're crushing everybody else. Now, Robert Neely, I want to shout out to Robert. I saw him ask a question. Have the dealerships figured out how to do this yet? Well, uh, no. They haven't. And, and and again, like I tell you, uh, I gave this to uh, uh, one of my dealers. I gave it to him. And he, you know, they're, they're, they're car guys. They're car salesmen. They're not they're not social media experts. They, they don't you know, they get stuck in their own lane and they don't 
They don't want to mess with this. Everybody likes to be spoon fed, sit down. I'm going to over deliver. I'm going to give you all the value in the world for way more than the price. Sit down and let me take care of you. There's a saying and it, it wouldn't sell them to car dealers. You want to wake them up, get the check and put them back to sleep. You don't, you don't want them involved. You don't need them involved. My guy's kind of involved because we joke around a lot, but they, you, you, they don't need to be involved. All you want to do is just turn on the fire hose and fill, fill them up with leads. I love it. Okay, so Sid, I saw a good one. I'm definitely in. Oh, sorry. D'Angelo, I'm definitely in. How do I sign up? So on the screen, Vanessa, did you put it in the chat area? Right? When you go there, it's $397. It's three payments. It's split up. We don't want you to pay one payment. No, we don't want you to spend all your money. We want you to make money. Why share this with us, Sid? I'll be honest. Joshua asked that. And you know what, Joshua? We've got over 20 groups. We've got over 20 groups. We're doing all right. And we've got, hey, Brian, we've got, we've got a honest. couple other income streams. So, Sid, you want to comment? Well, yeah, well, I just want you to be honest. Uh, Anthony mentioned he's not real techie. How techie am I? <laughs> Dude, I kiss well, babies Anthony, and shake hands. If, I'm not by a... techie, <laughs> if by techie you mean can Sid, can Sid work on my boat or help me on my car, he's a master. <laughs> if If it means... Is he computer technical? No, not no. at all. No. And as a matter of fact, you don't have to be. I don't care no. if you're 17 or 77. If you can post on Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, if you know how to send an email, that is the level of technical skills yeah, that's, you need. That's it. That's the top right there. How did we grow the members in the group? A canola asks, you know what? We... We've got a strategy of Econola in module three uh, that we show you exactly how to do it. Now, we use the algorithm. That's like the system, the, the factors that Facebook uses to rank groups. We, we have a trick to get Facebook to tell other people they suggest people join our group. And that's kind of how we do it. Jacoby said, man, Sid, I need something like this. Jacoby? It's it's a good gig, I promise you. Uh, Devin said so for twelve hundred, we get the bonuses. You get the entire course for three ninety seven three payments. Correct, Devin. Right. If you want to have our team, and we do all the work for you for three months, we have an optional monthly fee group. You don't have to do the monthly fee group. By no means. Our point is this: if you are making money and you have massive value you will want to be in the group. And if you're not, you won't. That easy. Um, Sid, Rebecca asks, do we need to have our own personal business license? Now that question, Rebecca, is up to where you live. If you're in the US, it's usually your city or your county. It's not us, it's, it's not even your state. It's usually your city or your county, right? Where I live, I don't have to. But if I lived in a town one over, I would need a business license and an LLC. I promise you, though, simple questions. We can we can check on Google for you. A used car dealer might ask you for like a W-9. A used car dealer, you can see the check. He wrote it to Sid Michael. I mean, I just went straight to his bank. You know what I mean? Like it, yeah. Michael uh, Day said, Sid, what's the fastest way, fastest we've ever been able to create a new group and scale it? So, Michael, it depends on how high, right? We get a new group to 250 people in just a few days. Now, 250 people is the goal when we start giving it away. We have a little multi-tiered strategy. Then we then our next goal is a thousand. And then from a thousand, it just starts to produce. But we can get it there in a few days. All right. Anthony Miller. He's the one who asked about the technical stuff. Anthony, can you talk on the phone? Anthony Miller, if you can and you have any questions, Sid, do you think you can help Anthony if it's too technical? No, abs no, absolutely. Yeah, just reach out to me on Messenger. I'm I'm in the uh, Pallet Course uh, group, the Simplest Biz. You can find me there. Uh, S Y D M I C H A E L, the man with two first names. But I'll answer to either. And uh, just send me a messenger, and I'll gladly jump on the phone and help you. Lawrence said, "I missed the beginning, but if I'm hearing it correctly, I'm 100% in. No replay needed. I'm interested." Tyrone said, "Tyrone, let us know what questions you have." Khalid is down in Orlando. William McDonald just signed up. Can you explain what the bonus is? Steve Hirsch asks, helping us build the asset. 
Sid, break down the bonuses and how we help manage that asset and teach them what to do. It's very, very easy. Yeah, once you plug it in, we're going to put a VA in, inside of your group as an admin with you, right? And 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 it's 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 done for you. Like, it, that's it. The only thing you really got to do is, one, create the group, two, name the group, and then we show certain set, without giving away the secret sauce, we have certain blitz groups and certain ways to to jam your your membership up higher, faster, and quicker to hit the algorithms. And you'll once you get over like 250 to 500 members, it'll grow organically but on its own. Like you you if you never looked at it again, you wouldn't have to, right? We also share a way where you can come out of the gate very fast and 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 have a chance to have a group similar to our Jeep page and monetize it as fast as you want to do the work. All right. So uh, the only bad news is we can't take every single one of you that wants to join. And there's no. more here. There are so many people on this call just being straight with you. We're going to limit it, not because we don't want you to sign up. We do. But Sid, you want to walk through that? Because I just have to be real. We can't take 600 of you. It, it, we're not going to have that many slots. I, I don't think I don't think that we could really flood the market, but we're not looking to to water it down at all. I mean, we've got something good here, and so we're really holding on to that. So we 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 limit it to on this call. I told John that we would let 50 people in. Right now, I don't know how many are already in. It, it seems like a lot, but uh, um, if the link works, they're still available. Um, but you know. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna go put 500 people in there and and have everybody not make opportunity out of this. This is here for the real go getters that are ready to make opportunity. Sid, what about competition from other groups out there? Steve Hirsch is asking that one. Well, first off, nobody is running another group that knows how to monetize it unless I taught them. That's a that's the truth, and it's funny because that almost kind of opens up a question of. If they don't know how to monetize it, maybe you should talk to them, right? You can kind of put the lines together on that if you want to talk about an accelerated path to success, all right? But yeah, don't worry about it. Sid, Tim is asking, I don't live in a big town. I live in rural Illinois. Any reason he can't do it if he's in rural Illinois? Well, first off, you're close to Chicago, so you're in one of the premium markets in the entire country. Secondly, dealers, because of the COVID, are, are delivering cars to your doorstep more and more. So if they're a flatbed away, you, you, you've got the entire state of Indiana, Iowa, and uh, uh, Chicago, uh, or Illinois, uh, to, to, your, uh, to your exposal. I would, I would call your group Illinois Jeeps for Sale, Illinois blah, blah, blah. I would hit your surrounding states. I would stay off that ferry boat in Iowa City because uh, if you go all in with a four card straight, it's hard to win. Trust me, I did it. <laughs> so Victor's asking, and I can help this one, Victor. Four card straight. I've, I've gotten that straight a few times myself. Um, I forgot. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Vic, Victor's asking, he's in New York, and he's like, Brian, I need to know what red tape in New York. And I appreciate the question. There's always red tape in New York. However, there isn't any. What you're no. doing is strictly it's it's very common right you're just providing a service to a business and getting paid now the magic we're doing online and stuff they don't even know about that or care about it um robert cole vanessa is going to help you in the background at 329 vanessa robert victor there is no red tape so you're in luck new york is fine um i want to yeah. mention you don't have to be local to your group i, I don't live in georgia so um, I live in Florida, but my groups are in Georgia, and 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 my, one of my clients is in borderline Alabama. So you don't have to you don't have to be in the state. You don't have to be local. You can set them up anywhere, and uh, you feel like you want to work. All right, I'm going to change it up, Sid. Me and you will be quiet. Vanessa, Yvette wants to know how long before she can get the first group started and running. I'll let you answer instead of me. Ooh, great question. Um, depending on if you're familiar with Facebook, if you already have a Facebook profile, meaning you can log into Facebook and update your status, say, you know, you're, you know how to do that. And you can follow along with a step-by-step -step pic pictorial, which, um, you know, is a tutorial with pictures. 
you can have a new group created in less than five minutes. Then we have um, in the membership area a form that'll take five minutes to fill out where you will tell us the name of the group you created. And the reason you're going to create it is so that you are 100% owner of this group. It is yours forever. Um, you are completely the owner. It's your money maker for forever. Uh, then our team will go in, optimize it, set all the settings, um, uh, do everything it needs to be done, uh, and you'll be up and running with your group ready to go within 24 hours. I love it. Yvette, it's that easy. Uh, Gregory Sane is in. Welcome to Gregory. Michelle said, I'm trying to determine if this is a franchise system. Michelle, no, it is not. We're not a franchise. We're showing you step by step what to do as if we were a franchise. But no, you are your own business. All the money goes to you. You don't pay us any kind of royalty. It is by no means a franchise. Abed said, how much are we selling the lead for dealers? Abed, we do a flat fee. We've tried it every which way. There's no wrong answer to this, but we believe if we can give massive value to the dealer, they're not going anyway. So we're not charging per lead. We're doing a flat fee, just $2,500 a month. It's pretty easy. Thank you, William, for uh, the shout out. William McDonald, thank you. Rebecca said, uh, is there spots? I think there's like eight or nine left. I'll have to ask Vanessa in a minute. Uh, Jamie, who was in, said, I'm in like Flynn. I love that. Uh, Jamie said, how can we connect with you in Peachtree City? Well, I live there, Jimmy. I'm happy. Maybe we can grab lunch or a Starbucks or something. So message in. We gave you the support link, and I'm happy to meet up. Okay. Does my group need to be local? Nope. I live in outside of Atlanta in a small town. I have a group in Seattle. I have a group in Maine. I do n I've do. i never been to Maine. <laughs> um, Arnell, I love it. Arnell's on board. Welcome. Adam Kennedy just signed up. Okay, hey, Cody. Brian, I'd love to answer one question real quick because I, I can see what people might think of this real quick. Somebody said, hey, I noticed those people were looking at older Jeeps, right? What do you think the average down payment is to a customer that comes into a car store, first off, right? 80% of them, 85% of the people finance. What do you think the average down payment is? 500, 1,000, maybe, right? So when somebody says, I got $5,000 to buy a CJ, that is a killer lead. Because you've got a $5,000 down payment. Those are cash buyers. They're not financing CJs, right? 1970 Jeeps. They're not, they're not going to finance something like that. So when you see somebody's got five grand cash, <laughs> that's a head knocker right there. You're going to make a lick because they got the cash to make the deal to work. Selling them a new Jeep that smells good, looks good, and is clean and has all the latest technology is not the hard part. They're going to jump from a CJ up to the new Jeep in just a second. That's a hotter lead to a car dealer than somebody who comes in really looking for a new one with only $500 down. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? It makes total sense. Akinola, let us know if that's good. Cody said, my background is horses. What about horse trailers, tractors, that kind of, those kind of vehicles? Absolutely. Did. And niche down into those trailers because those horse trailers, my family owns a bunch of them. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they bring all the money. Same thing with uh, RVs, uh, uh, toy haulers. Toy haulers are so in demand right now. Uh, my next, personally, I, I'm, my next group I'm building is going to be a toy hauler group because I know that, that that's going to have a hot, hot market out there. Okay, Elisa Ward is in welcome. What is the social um, vending monthly? So we waive the monthly fee. It's $250 a month. It's waived for three months. If you're making money, join it. It includes our team. Vanessa runs, you heard her a minute ago. We have a team of over 30 people. They're going to do all the back end work. Why? Because I don't have time either to sit. We don't want to. And I don't think you want to either. They're going to connect with your dealer. They're going to send the leads every day. They're going to gather the leads, all the part that's not very fun. So, are certain car groups preferable to others? Jamie, honestly, no. Everybody's got their favorite right? Everybody's got a favorite. Like I love Mercedes and BMW, but I also love Mustang convertibles. I love Camaros. I love Jeeps. I love diesel trucks. Sid, there's so many, man. There's no limit. Chargers. Uh, I, Honda I, I, I think it's awesome to do whatever your favorite car is. You should definitely build that group straight up. Uh, Vanessa, can you help you vet? She, we got you handled. Um, uh, 
it's 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 a no brainer to do the car group that you like because you know what when you're going in there talking about something that's in your wheelhouse like Corvettes something a lot of people don't know and it's I sold more Corvettes in the year 2000 than anybody in the country. I can talk Corvettes until the cows come home. I love going in my Corvette groups and and talking cars because I can talk all about the 90 C4 and the 97 C5. I know everything about them. And I like to spew my knowledge on those people and they eat it up because they love to hear about it. So it's really cool. Welcome, Bar Barrett. Vanessa, I just sent you a text. If you could share your screen with this slide, that would be awesome. De Devin, you're covered. Rick Norton, welcome. Saturns, I like that, Gary. Buicks, no, not too rare. Buicks are hot, man. Buicks are the most underrated car out there, period. Straight up. I think the new Buick, it, it looks and, and is as comfortable as, as a Cadillac ever was. Tesla. We like Tesla, Lawrence, but we got a better mousetrap on that one. We went broader electric instead of just Tesla. Yeah, do all EVs. Wayne, absolutely. We can take care of you. Just give us your info and we'll follow up with you. I love 1987. Good year. 1987. Cadillac. The uh the the uh 1987 the uh the IROC Z baby, right? 87 is a cool year. Now, you know what else was 87 was the uh, Buick T type. Anybody ever get in a race with one of them babies? Grand National, yes. Those things are worth a mint nowadays. Here's a let, let me mention this real quick. Here, here's what happens when you go to post a car for sale on on Marketplace. It's going to say, yes, Arnell, I sold those cars new. 96 is the year to have floor shifter. Um, here's what happens. When you go to post your car, it's going to say, hey, would you like to have, you know, share it in up to 10 groups? Well, if you're selling a Jeep and it says, would you like to post it in Georgia Jeep for sale? Yep, I'll do that one. Uh, uh, Jeep Nation? Yep, I'll do that one. What the title of your group is going to, you want to make it where it would relate to people that, have relevant content to it right however there's some people that don't pay attention at all and they just hit their first 10 and that's how you get people putting fish in toilets uh as trying to post into your jeep group right so but that's how you you this thing self-fulfills this thing builds itself right out of the gate like that so yeah one of the questions that um, i see like a stream of is this car good is this car good is this car good one of the things that sid did is sid our you know our car expert <laughs> he like did a cross reference of what are our dealership what what cars do dealerships make a lot of money off of selling and what are they looking to buy and cross referenced it with what are the cars that fanboys really get excited about right and where do wh what what's the crossover there so the groups that can capitalize on both of that the cars that people get excited about, want to talk about, like Jeeps, they have a community, are also super popular, sell really well, and get top dollar for the dealer, and dealers will pay a lot of money for those leads. So Sid built us a list of, it started at 25, I think we're up to 28 or 29 now, of those vehicles. They're so, so diesel trucks, so it's not specifically like a make and a model. Everything Suzuki, BMW, Jeeps, Wranglers, yada, yada, yada. So we took that list, we've got them for you in the membership group, then we started building content on those vehicles for you. So as you're building out your groups, you don't even have to do the work. It's literally copy and paste from we, the content. We got four that, left. I just want everybody to know there's four, oh, there's four, four courses left. Oh, yep. Just saw that. Yep. Page is updated. We've got four left. And that's with the the Sid closes the deals for you bonus. <laughs> so if you want Sid to close your deals, we got four left for you. Um, so as you're building out those, you don't have to think about what cars you want to do. If you don't know, that's fine. We've figured out what cars are going to do great for you. We've had professional writers create the content for you. We've got a professional team that's going to set up and optimize your group for you. All you have to do is copy paste the content 
from our writers into your group. Now, some folks ask, like, why do we have to post that content? Again, so that you own this group, so that it's always your moneymaker. Nobody can ever um, yeah. take it from you. It's going to need to be posted from your profile, right? You don't want anybody to have your username and password. That's your profile. It's your group. You own it. Copy, paste it. Five seconds. Uh, like Brian and Sid said, you could do it from your phone or tablet anywhere in the world to anywhere in the world. Um, everything's available for you right there in that membership group. Um, we've done, we've taken the DFY to the extreme. If we can possibly do it for you, we're going to do it for you. We already did it for you. Um, let's see. I'm going to jump back into the, the question, Sid. Will you let me yeah. know if you need me to jump back yeah, in? Yeah, you get a, a uh, email? And um, uh, and then uh, 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 Miss Ward or Mr. Ward, uh, it takes about 15 minutes. I don't know why, but it does. It takes about 15 minutes for you to get your full access. It's all. Uh, it's just uh, automation there. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, and when you um, register, you'll get a welcome email, and you're going to get signed up for our. Um, we have ongoing live training with Brian and Sid, so you get to talk to us pretty much nonstop. We talk all the time in the Facebook group and live trainings. So you're gonna get an invitation to webinars like this. Uh, bare minimum, we meet every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern. So you're gonna get a webinar invitation for that and membership group access and Facebook group access where we chat all the time too. So you pretty much have um, unfettered constant access to Brian, Sid, and myself and our Done For You team. If you ever need anything, we're right there at your disposal. But all of that setup does take a few minutes. That might be why you don't have your email address yet. Or I'm sorry, your welcome email yet, but you'll get it. I promise. Hey, so I want to ask this. Do you have a question that's just got you right on the fence, right? Is there one question that I can answer for you right now that would help help you do that? And if we have enough people that still want in but but and want the bonuses, I'm going to add... 10 more to the call. We'll, we'll, we'll let 10 more people in. Let me answer these questions for you though real quick, okay? Give me a uh, give me a one if you have a question and uh, or put QQQ and then your question if there's something that's holding you right on the fence. Gary, send uh, send us your email. We'll hold you a spot. Uh, oh. Do you need to pay for each group? No, it's unlimited. You get oh, unlimited yeah. Groups. Yeah, that done for you, that in 90 days, which we figure you'll have time to have at least we figure two, three, probably even four customers at that point. That's unlimited groups, 247, unlimited groups, unlimited leads. Uh, but said I did want to let you know that we are down to our last bonus. Okay. So if you want me to add those, if we have enough people that want it, let me know if you want me to add those 10 more bonuses back in. We need to give Michelle the link uh, some, somehow. Okay, I think she missed I'll, it. I'll send it over to Michelle. Yep. If 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 uh if you're on the fence and you get, you send us your email, we'll we'll send you uh one of those ten spots that we're gonna hold. Other than that, if you want me to close your dealer for you, um, you know, and listen, a national average close ratio is about twenty percent. I'm gonna go out publicly and say this: if you get a dealer that's interested in this on the phone with me, I'm gonna close four out of five. Four out of five. And if you don't believe me, watch me. This is this is the easiest sell I've ever done in my life. In fact, it's not even selling. We're giving it away. Okay. What else we got? Um, I'm already signed up. I was in the Fresh Start Guide. Yep. Okay. You're in. Good. Thank you. Welcome. You're in. Good. Good. What What's holding you back right this second to get this last one sold? What would be the one thing that you need to ask the question, and I'll answer it right now. That's the way we are. We're, we like to get things uh, off the table. There's nothing hidden. We uh, we we attack stuff head on, right? Nice, Paul. Thank you. Welcome, uh, Pedro. We're not going to go back over the whole call. Sorry, buddy. You missed your opportunity. <laughs> um, Ron says that his question is his issue is closing the deal with the dealership. Said, um, you're going to get them on the phone with me, and I'm going to do that for you. Very simple. So Ron, um, and we help you find dealerships that you want to work with in the area you want to work with, with the car that you want to sell it to. We have, we have their contact information. And then we help you close the deal. So kind of really, you just 
dial the phone number, Sid? Is that all that's left <laughs> when we're talking about that process? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty much. I think, that's, I think that's the only thing that's still out there. <laughs> hey, Heidi says, how long does it take to earn twenty five hundred bucks? I'm going to tell you this: it's going to take you if you really knock it out. You could knock it out in a day, but I'm going to say two days to go through the content. These modules aren't long. We break it up into bite sized pieces. Okay, you're going to. It's going to take you about two days to go through it. How bad you want it, we show you a way that you could monetize this thing in a, a week or two. How bad you want it? Now, if you do it the traditional way, the way I did it, where it organically grew and all that stuff it's gonna take you 30 days or up to 90 days. Hence why we don't charge you for the monthly until after 90 days. See how that works? Arnell, if you come ready, I'm coming ready too. I guarantee you, you'll quit that nine to five. It's time to, it's time to jump off the boat and get in the water. I know it's hard, dude. I, 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 I would have procrastinated about leaving my nine to five forever. It came down to an ultimatum, and the guy didn't pay me commissions, and I was forced into doing it. I got lucky, sold 45 grand worth of direct mail on the way home. So let's go, Carmichael. What else? What else? Uh, Sid? Yeah. Sid, John. Hey, John. Hey, man. I just wanted to reiterate, you know, kind of what I said in the beginning. Uh, we have the business of the pallet business and all that. But there's so many other things out there, folks, that uh, allow us to generate income. And it's so important to build these types of assets in your life. And after you've gone through this, you know, what we've seen here today, um, this is gold, folks. And, and uh, realize that there's, there's, you can chew gum. And, and, and walk at the same time, keep building these assets out like Sid and Brian have showed you guys today. And um, in addition, you know, run your pallet business and, and you, you probably with this type of thing, you'll have time to do, do other things as well. And that's the joy of finding the right types of vehicles in your life to run where it gives you freedom to pick and choose the right other monetary uh, revenue stream for your life, and, and, that, and, and when that's I, why you're waiting for the the, the forklift mm -hmm. guy to come around. <laughs> they exactly. Gotta go find the forklift. Pick up your phone and knock out your 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 your, your approvals or whatever. I mean, that's that's it, literally how hard this is. Exactly. So um, that fits what I always look for, you guys, and that's why I shared this with you folks, is because it fits it to a T. Okay. So I'm gonna back back out, but I really wanted to stress that point to you folks out there that are looking at this. I love it. My favorite question, just because I love the answer, I need $2,500 a month to make this work. And you know why that's so great? Because that's just one happy client. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, you're, you're, not, mean, you're, not, you're not making $300 rips. You know, yeah. you're not going to church and waiting for a referral to come in. This yeah. is something to give away free. They, they gladly pay you 2500 bucks and they pay you like the water bill. Mm -hmm. And after you get one set up, what is so gorgeous about this is it's a self-fulfilling asset. Once this snowball gets rolling downhill, you know what it turns into? An avalanche. It's taking right. care of itself. All you have that's to right. go in is on your phone, scroll through, and you see an annoying post that shouldn't be there, you delete it. That's it. Our that's WU it. team is kicking off those leads to your dealership in real time. You have nothing to do except build up your next group. So you're going to make that $5,000 a month because you're going to have two happy customers. And then what happens after you get that second snowball rolling? What are you going to be working on? Your third group. Um, I, I keep seeing people say, what do I charge to close uh, your account? I don't charge. That's part of the course. That's what you get. If, uh, you said, how many deals will you close? Unlimited. How long will you close them for? When you get them, I'm ready. I'm and telling for, you right now, if months? you show, huh? For how many months? For for as many months as it takes you to get the client. If if you come ready, I'm here. I'm ready. I, I so want if, to close a deal for you. So if I had ten groups that were self fulfilling and had lots of members, and I was ready to go with dealers, and I had their phone numbers, would you close ten deals for me? I would. And guess what? All ten deals are covered under the two forty nine. And how much of those $2,500 checks would I get to keep? I'm going to charge you nothing. 
So I would get all $2,500? You keep all $2,500. That's not my money. That's your money. Can I, can I buy, can I buy you a cigar? Can I take you out to dinner? Can I buy you a steak? You know what my weakness is, a home record burrito. <laughs> can I buy you, can I, can I send you a nice block of cheddar? <laughs> That's right. I love it. Yeah, it's not easy being cheesy. You put cheese on something, I'll eat anything. I, I'd eat cold liver with cheese on it. <laughs> uh, Steve yeah. says, or I'm sorry, it's Tom. How do I stand out among the countless other pages like this? How do you avoid being diluted by market saturation? Saturation. Saturation cannot happen because you got to understand, first off, how many states is there, right? Then you can also break it down to 404, 678, 770, 912, 904. So, you know, you can break it down by area code. You can say North Georgia, South Georgia, West Georgia, East Georgia. You will never get saturated. And again, when somebody goes to post something, what are they going to look at? Oh, I'm in East Georgia. Oh, I'm a 770. Oh, I'm 678. And they're going to post their their ads from Marketplace on there. That builds your group. But th what this group is, is a Trojan horse that you're going to run through a dealer's wall, offer to give it to him, make him the, 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 the official sponsor, right? And then you're going to get him to agree to a certain amount per leads to pay you a certain figure, which is a low end figure in the car business. $2,500 a month is probably one of the lowest vendors they have, right? And then all you're going to do is go plug in the automotive syndication, which sets fire to the bonfire. You just poured gas on top of the brush. It's over. It's that easy. That's how simple it is. It's so simple that it's hard to understand how simple it is. That's what I love about it. Yeah, it, it's one of those things that's like, you look at it and you go, but is it really? Like, but... And that's how your dealer feels when he is getting so many leads that one lead gives him or one week of leads gives him so many sales that it's paying for itself four or five, six times over. And he's he's chasing you down to give you that check for twenty five hundred dollars because he's hoping you don't figure out. What a good deal he's getting. The Janice just asked a great question real quick. Let me answer this real fast. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, Vanessa. Um, a, a average car dealer right now, right? Well, an average car dealer, national average, is making $2,350 a car profit. So one car, they're paying for this. However, even though that's the national average of what from NADA, right? That's official stat. I don't know a single car dealer out there that's doing as little as that. Right now, I know car dealers run over 7,000 a copy for sales because cars are in such high demand right now. People are paying all the money, okay? So um, I would use a national uh, stat to assume that some people are maybe inflating their number or something um, at 2,300 bucks. They sell one car, they paid for this. Um, Sid, I have to let you know that we are out of bonuses. Did you, do you want me to add some, some more? Yeah, so add the 10, be... the 10, I promised. 10, okay. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna go back into the back end. I'm gonna add those 10 in for everybody. Yeah, if, 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 you're, if you're on the fence, t take action. You know, listen, we we have a 30 day guarantee. If you get in there and you find out that it's not exactly what you're talking about, that's fine. You know, uh, just send in a support ticket and Vanessa will handle you. We, I don't want any dollars that I didn't earn, right? But what I do want is for people that want something passive or ready to take, the, take it to the next level, they wanna go up to their significant other and go, honey, I did it, check this out and show them a $2,500 check. Right. And then you're going to have that famous conversation that we talked about that you have with yourself when you turn 20. You're going to have the same conversation with yourself about when you started this. Why didn't I create more groups? Why did I only create three groups? Right. So there you go. Um, I've had dealers offer me cars in, in, in trade before to drive. That's a little less popular now because they're held accountable under insurance. But uh, that was a uh, very, 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 very common back in the day. In fact, y'all remember John Rocker from the Braves when he wrecked his Corvette? I, I put him in a Corvette. I just wanted everybody to see him in one of my Corvettes. Fernando, if, if you think you can go do it yourself, rock on, man. Rock on. 
I, I would want you to. I hope we brought you enough value today that you could maybe go out and figure it out. But I'm going to tell you, like I figured it out about 90 days ago, it became a job. Once I once I partnered up with Brian and his team with Vanessa, started doing all my back end, which we're offering to you for nothing, just about. Then it got then it got easy. So there you go. I'll never forget the joy in your voice when I told you the done for you system I built for you, Sid. And you did. It was personally built. It's like for, I felt like I heard angels sing. I felt I felt so technical because I like just <laughs> described my perfect world and then all of a sudden it technically worked. I was like, dude, I love this. I was like, Sid, could you do me a favor and please stop doing anything in your group? Because it would really make it better if you just didn't do anything and I did everything. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That was awesome. <laughs> um, could you just sit back and let me just send you a report every day with all of your leads and like also I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the system mine Facebook and get you all this like secret super secret data. Um <laughs> just twisted my arm the whole time. I'm like, I guess we could do that. Oh, why not? <laughs> All right. Uh, Victor, okay, I'm going to grab you a link. Hold on. Stefan, welcome, buddy. I'm gl I'm glad that uh you gave us your trust and you're going to not regret it. This is this is going to this is going to help take your uh, take your life and business to the next level, I promise you. Trust me. I, let me let me tell you. I, any mistake that you've made, I've made twice. <laughs> I'm that guy, okay? So it took me 47 years to figure out how to slow down, surround yourself with the right people, right? Because entrepreneurship can be the loneliest place in the world. I can tell you that right now. You'll find yourself under your desk sucking your thumb. You know what I mean? It can be brutal. But when you surround yourself with the right people and you can call the right people like, like John or Brian or me, right? And you can get yourself surrounded by the right people that show you that path, there is shortcuts in life. And this is exactly what this is. This is an opportunity to take a shortcut. Um, okay, here's a great question. I keep seeing it and I've typed the answer a bunch and I, I'm afraid that people are thinking it and not asking it if I've answered it so many times. Are there any more costs associated with this business? Um, we do not believe in upsells. There, Once you click this page, you're gonna see a thank you page. You're gonna get a welcome email and we are not gonna trick you or offer you or ask you to buy anything else. There's, There's no nothing upsells. hidden whatsoever. There's nothing hidden. There's no, okay, just kidding. Now you have to buy ads to make this work. There's no, okay, now you need to buy this tool. Now you need to pay for this equipment. Hey, Vanessa, now you, if, we put, if we actually showed the link, I think, uh, I think those nine would disappear pretty quick. <laughs> if we showed, am I showing the link? The link on the on the on the uh, on the uh, the vending there there we go this? yep yep okay this link this is yep. it this is it in totality and completion I don't see the link I just see that's what's included we need to show the link the the, the buy button so, like go to the, the page yeah that's what they need to know we've also yeah. put it in chat you can just click it on chat oh okay 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 like this yep yep and the, the URL the URL, yep. Up top. Up top. Up top. Yep. Okay. Yes, Michelle. Three ninety seven to get started today. Um, it, it'll bill every thirty days for three payments, and uh, during those three months, you get free uh, our gold mine service for the entire two forty nine or whatever, and then it rolls into it. Honestly, if you're not making money and you don't want to pay the two forty nine, you don't have to. Just just opt out. But we we designed this and set this up for people to be well into the money before that even happens. All right, we, okay, we still got six of the, all the bonuses left, including the Sid closes your deals forever bonuses, six yep. left. So I did add those 10 that you asked me to, and we've got six of those left. Thank you. Um, and if anybody's missing the um, welcome email, it comes from the address help at getsupport.biz. That's our support email address. So if you'll check your spam or junk, sometimes, sometimes we do land there. And if you still don't see it, you can go to getsupport.biz. The link is here. I'm gonna scroll down on the sales page. Need help, contact our support team. This is a link, this green bar, this hole right here. 
and um, let me know that you didn't get your welcome email, I will personally send it to you and make sure you get access today. Before Here's a great event. question from uh, Garrison real quick. Hey, uh, he says, does this work with another niche or industry? It does, it does. I've done it in several different niches and industries. However, it doesn't work uh, to this kind of monetization as well, right? It, it doesn't work to this much, you know, this monetization. Like this is one of this is the sweet spot as far as finding the highest paying customers for a premium. Um, but it does work. I, I've done it, man. I can tell you, I've got a lot of groups, all right, and you can monetize a ton of groups, right? Some of the groups, you know, I sell 25 t-shirts a month out of. That's not monetizing. Well, I don't think so. Uh, you know, I've kind of neglected them to 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 go to this model. This is the model that works and gets paid. Fernando, we, we have a lot of secrets we haven't shared on this call, to be honest. All right, let's see what else we got here. Um, all right, good. All right, so we got six left. If anybody's gonna take advantage of it right now to guarantee yourself uh, a spot with all the, all the bonuses that we gave away, we, we flooded the floor with bonuses. If you want me to get on the phone and 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 close your dealer for you, um, there's six of you. There's not a time limit on that. If you run it, if you run into a dealer in two weeks, you run into a dealer in two months. If you run into a dealer in two years, as long as you're with us, you're with us. Okay, Stefan, welcome, buddy. Hey, Sid. Yes. I wanted to point something out. It's John again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I want people to realize that you know this private group that you have. Um, how powerful that is in itself, not only for sharing of information, and but the way it's used to help your group grow as well. And some people, yeah. I think, are missing that point, um, that being part of this group is going to really create a, a synergy effect for the groups that you create, if you want to speak to that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, the, uh, your group is very active too, which I love, because uh, I'll be honest with you, so many have so many failing groups. And I think, John, you and I have, Two of the best groups and we talk a lot about helping each other in our groups and stuff you know and, and what to do and and how to keep people engaged and uh mm -hmm. i think we kind of match that one thing that i that you know just i don't know why i'm telling you this but i did one today so i wanted to share it with you i give people car buying tips too i teach you things how to negotiate your car next time you got to buy a car that has more mm -hmm. value than even what you're paying for this course right I, I i teach you word tracks that you can say that'll absolutely give you a steal of a deal when you go to negotiate your car. I also, um, uh, I'm sharing out, because uh, I promised last week, I'm sharing out a whole explanation on leasing. A lot of people think they gotta pay the mileage and the over mileage and all these issues with leasing. They're not educated on leasing. You don't have to pay all that. And I show you how you don't have to, so. Hey, I need to talk to you about that. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I hear you. Cool. So. Yep. Um, Let's see here. How much money did you have to Um, we've got people. We we just we just started offering this to what you call students, Fernando. So we've got people already bringing in twenty five hundred a month. We we just started offering this to people weeks ago. So, are you ready to take action, Fernando? Or are you just curious? Let me know if I can answer a question for you to to get you to jump in. Once again, if you show up, I'm showing up. I'm ready to roll. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's make it happen. All right. It looks like we've answered pretty much all the questions. Fernando, if you got another question, let me answer it, man. Let me let me get you off the fence and and help uh help put the picture together so we can get you started and start making some jamming some money. Is there affiliate piece? Um nope. Uh, we're not doing anything affiliate whatsoever. However, I'll say this, Gregory, because that's a good question. Um, it, in the group, if you have somebody who's like trying to post their their stickers, or uh, you notice that they kind of are doing, you know, maybe Amazon type stuff, dude, I hit them up. I go, dude, how would you like to be the exclusive sticker salesman in this group? Give me two hundred bucks. I, and I, it I works every time. Them. It works yeah. every time. Yeah.
Gary Hunsicker, um, I know we met before. We chatted before. We got you covered. Sid, Gary's in tomorrow morning, so we'll take care of Gary for, for you guys. Absolutely. Hey, I can help. Uh, Sid, Robert's asking about the lease tips you mentioned. So, Robert, let me give you an example. I'm not a car guy. I don't know a lot about cars. I uh, was leasing a car. I leased a 7 Series BMW, and I honestly had wished Sid was there with me, but he wasn't, right? I stepped out of the room to go to the bathroom, and I called Sid, and I kind of hit him with three or four things. He ended up knocking off, like, um, three things in finance. We got my payment down a couple hundred dollars a month. I was anyway, it's it's the things you don't know if you're not in the business, especially on the leasing side, unless you're you know an expert on on cap costs and all the issues with leases. So Sid does an amazing job in that area because he lived and breathed it for so many years. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, uh, I, I, I can, uh, um, you know, I. I I, I worked for Southeast Toyota. They they recruited me, right? And so I worked for JM Families, who own Southeast Toyota, Jim Moran. And they sent me to teach compliance and how to teach finance directors how to be compliant and how to close customers. And I, I worked all over the country, uh, normally for two-week assignments. And I worked in 37 states. So I know the market really, really well. So when you get a dealer on the phone, there's a chance I'm either going to know the guy or know somebody who knows him or has worked in one of his stores at one point. And so it's real easy to break down the the walls and and uh, you know to engage with them because you know it's a small world. That's the beautiful thing about it. So, hey Vanessa, can you help Yvette at four ten? Um, Yvette, we'll help you out. Okay, I don't want you to stress out about it at all. You're covered. Devin, um, welcome, buddy. That's right. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for having trust in us, man. Thank you. Yeah, William, I've said the same thing. Sid, William just said, I'd be willing to pay you to help me when I go lease a car. William, I'm sure Sid appreciates that. But honestly, I've known him a long time. He's just a good guy. He's going to help you. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny how many people I've had say, man, why don't you do this for a living? I'm like, ah, I'm a car negotiator, not a shopper. I don't want to shop for your car. I want to negotiate your car deal. I helped out a guy uh, in, in another uh, another call. Uh, I helped out a guy who was by, he was uh, the mayor, and he had to lease uh, 12 new police cars, and uh, I negotiated the whole entire deal. A lot of your big marketers out there, I'm not going to mention any closers. I negotiated their McLarens for them. <clears throat> even 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 told the finance director how to structure the deal to get them financed because they couldn't. <laughs> so, you know. All right, cool, man. I appreciate this. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what what questions. Sid, let's have, do this uh, while you're answering them. If anybody didn't get your question answered, give us three cues and then ask it again so we can find it. There are there's a lot of people here. We're I, I can see that Sid's answered a lot. I've been answering them. We don't want to we don't want to miss anybody. Po just ask it again with a couple cues in front so it jumps out at us. Okay. Yeah, just put the QQQ and then the actual question. Re realize there's probably 25 questions coming through a minute. So it's hard to keep up with them because we got small little windows that uh, that show it. Shout out to Leslie. Rebecca, we got you covered. Hey, Robert. Awesome, man. I, I, that's, uh, that, that's the biggest compliment in the world. I'm glad it was a great, great two hours with you, too. That's, uh, that, that's what makes all this worth 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 doing for sure. Thank you, Leticia. We appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Uh, okay, here's a good one. Uh, Sid from Carrie. She came on board just a few minutes ago. It takes about 20 or 25 minutes for your welcome email to show up. It's just part of the uh, back end system before it comes to you. <clears throat> hey, um, there's a really good question, Sid. I bet you know the answer to it from Steve Hirsch. Do you see that very bottom one about dealer leads actually get sold into cars? Yeah. Um, so if, if, if you got 100 leads, generally you can get 50, 50 of them to book an appointment. You're going to get a 50 show rate, which is 25 people will show. Out of the 25, they're going to sell 20%. Right. So that's five car deals. Five car deals at 2,300 to say 2,500 for easy, for easy math. Right. They're going to make $12,500 off of that. You're charging them 2,500 bucks. It's a no brainer. Who wouldn't go put their 2,500 in a bank to make 12,500? 
Dallas, as good as AMC was today. <laughs> Sid, you and the AMC. I love it. I love yeah. it. All right. Uh, what is your goal as far as number of clients? Gerson, you know, our original goal was three. Then our goal was five. Then our goal was 10. Then our goal was 12. Then our goal was 15. Then our goal was 20. We're just shy of 30 right now. And honestly, we're pretty happy with where we are. Doesn't mean we won't we won't end up picking up a few more. Hey, Christopher says uh, he's crazy busy with work right now. If he signs up now, is there an issue to start a few weeks uh, in a few weeks or a month? No, there's no nothing wrong with that. We've I've had several people do that. You know, just don't forget us, man, because th this model works today and it works a month from now. So if you want the bonuses, I think that's a great idea. Akinola asked if all the training is recorded. So the answer is yes. And Akinola said, you know, I'm at work. I'm not able to attend for the actual live call. And that's fine. You can watch it at your leisure when you get home. We, we load them within, usually within two or three hours. Yep. Okay, Gregory has a good question. Is that 2,500, Sid, a hard and fast number? Or could I actually go to 10,000 a month with two if the right client in the right group? Yeah, you could. You could. You really could. The reason why I kind of teach you to do the 2500 is, again, I told you I want to teach you how to, you know, I want to make sure all of you have lifetime clients, not one-time clients. Once you get up into the 10 grand, you know, the, the spotlight's going to be on you. It don't take but a, a hot chick to walk in that they'd rather do business with that, you know, they can whack you and, and afford that. When you're at the $2,500 level, they can afford you every month forever, as long as you're delivering and this model delivers. So, do we have a calendar invite that is compatible with Gmail Calendar? Vanessa, can you help us on that for Dave Warner? Yes. Because um, I use invite, Gmail Calendar, so it must it must be compatible. And, and yeah, um, great. Go ahead. Oh yeah, but what invitation is he looking for for the the training? I, it must be what it is, because okay. Dave, I use Gmail Calendar myself. Yeah, go to webinar since those the the links are in there for the go to webinar invites for Gmail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there uh, uh there there is no drip feed. Uh, I, we're we're doing like two live calls just adding on, but you, dude, you get in there and you uh, binge watch it right now, you can knock it out in two days, straight up. And I'm being cool by saying two days. You really can do it in a day, but I'm gonna say two days so you don't start hearing me talk in your sleep. I love it. Yep. All right. I think, is there anybody we didn't take care of? Is there anybody on the fence? Anybody has a question or you're here and you, you spent your time and you, if there's anything we can answer for you, even if it didn't make sense, we'd be glad to help you. Jamie, uh, Jamie, I don't know if we answered you, Jamie Tahita. He said, how do I log into the website? And Jamie, you're going to get your credentials any minute if, if it hadn't showed up already. And if there's an issue, uh, Vanessa, will you tell everybody if they had any issue logging in, what they can do? <laughs> yep, I muted myself. <laughs> we'll just talk it away. Okay, so um, here on the um, the page, if you scroll down to the bottom, this whole green bar is a link to our support desk. If you need any help, if you don't get your welcome email, if you have any questions, it's www.getsupport.biz. Uh, send us a ticket. I will personally make sure that there are no open tickets asking for username and password. You didn't get your welcome email. If you have any trouble, hold me a spot. I will not leave work today until everybody's taken care of. Tim, so that answers your question. That's You need to get support.biz. Mm -hmm. Send in a ticket and, with your email and, and she'll hold you hold you the spot. I'll hold you a spot. I will get you your welcome email. I will get your, your credentials. You can't log in. I will help you. We'll reset your password. Whatever you need, I will sit at this desk and I will make sure you get in today before I clock out. <laughs> Gregory, you and I both, buddy. Yep. I love it. All right. So that's uh that's that's pretty much uh uh, Joe, I'm glad you asked that. That's a great question. What are the cons? Honestly, the only con is if you, and I'm not saying this to be funny, if you try and do it yourself, if you don't let the team do the gold mine done for you, do the work for you bonus that we give you, it does become a little bit of a job. 
not a lot of job, but a little bit of a job. I, enough that I called Brian. I said, Brian, I got a problem. He's like, what? I said, I just, you know, I, I got these dealers that are willing to pay for this. You know, is there any way? And that's really where Brian and I kind of joined forces on this whole thing to get it automated. Vanessa, who you hear on the call with us, is an absolute rock star. It's not just Vanessa. She's got a team of 30 plus people that work in their office. They got a 4,000 square foot office. They hold events there. All right. It's 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 like a real uh, workable thing. All right. Like, like it's it's you got that whole team working behind you to, to make this thing right. I knew I knew where to go for the right people. And that's what I did with Brian and 